We need to slow down. Oh man, we're not gonna slow down in time, are we? Oh, that that explosion was not did not bode well. Oh god. Oh god. Way too late. What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with a new game for the channel. This is Kerbal Space Program. Now, this is by no means an actual new game. It's been out in alpha, I think, for a couple years, and now it's in full release, but I love this game. I've played a lot of it, building all sorts of stuff. Obviously, this world doesn't have too much stuff in it. This is a, a new world for the channel itself. It's a space exploration game that actually uses real physics, so you have to actually launch your rockets up into space and get it with enough speed to get into orbit, and you have to jump from orbit to orbit, but uh, today we're going going to go to the moon, but first I feel like uh, we should fly this jet. Because I, I haven't played this game in a while, I just reinstalled it, started doing it for the channel, and I happen to have this jet on the uh, con gaming save file, so I was like, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna fly this jet. And of course, you can customize everything, so you know, have a custom hotkey to fire up the afterburners there, just break the speed of sound, pull, you know, 15 plus G's and uh, not hit the ground, that would be great, awesome. I mean, you can play this game with a with a joystick, you can also play with an Xbox controller. I play it with keyboard, mainly because there are a lot of different controls. There's a lot of depth to this game, uh, and there's a lot of fun to be had. So let's just, uh, you know, we'll just, oh crap. Oh, perfect. I don't know if this is going to survive. Nope. We'll just revert to the hangar there. So anyway, so I built this motorbike. Um, I, I built this myself, but there was a YouTuber, or I don't know if it was a YouTuber or if it was somebody, um, regardless, I've, I've seen a motorbike like this and I decided to build my own, so it's a pretty simple motorbike, a true motorbike, there is two wheels kind of overlapping in the front, but it looks like a motorbike, drives like a motorbike, it's, it's pretty awesome. And uh, we're gonna take it to the moon. Here we've got the uh, same motorbike carrying mechanism. You can see we've got the capsule right there. Now it's all hidden within this aerodynamic casing uh, to help this rocket go up. You can see this massive multi-stage rocket. So this is a six-stage rocket, um, and we should get the motorbike to the moon on six stages. But of course, when we get to the moon, we're gonna want some extra, some extra thrust because the motorbike on its own it drives, but it's not the quickest thing. So let's just put some thrusters on this guy, just like that. Okay, and now we need some fuel tanks for that. Oh, Oscar B. Oh, that no, that's huge. Okay, how big is the donut? Holy crap, that's even bigger. Well, you know what? I guess if we uh, if we can't, we're not gonna be able to fit. So you know what? Let's just let's just go with the solid fuel. This is perfect. Brilliant. All right, that's that's how we'll do it. Those are solid fuel boosters. They'll shoot once, um, and that's how we'll get back to Earth. I think. Problem solved. All right, so we've moved our vehicle out onto the launch pad. We're gonna increase the throttle there. The throttle goes up with shift and down with left control. Um, you can hit X to instantly kill the throttle, but we're gonna we're gonna increase that to max. Turn on the SAS stability. Uh, also turn on the pitch and yaw control stability. And then we have to fire up the engines and then decouple the um, holding devices there. So boom and boom, and we're off. This is one small step for man, one giant leap for Greg Bulls. He's having a great time, look at him go. Yeah, he's just, look, just, just. All right, we're up. Now, press space and that'll deploy those away. And we'll be breaking atmosphere here very soon. I think atmosphere is around 50,000 meters, give or take, uh, for the home planet. You can see there, you can start to see the planet rounded. All right, so we're gonna kill the throttle, deploy that, and then we're gonna check the map here real quick. Okay, so the AP is the uh, apoapsis of your orbit. That's the highest point in your orbit. And the PE is the periapsis, which is the smallest point in your orbit. So the moon's over here, so we're gonna set that as a target. And basically what we have to do is first put ourselves into orbit of Earth here, or Kerbin, and then we have to fling ourselves out with more thrust to the moon. So let's just, you know, let's just do that. But we are gonna motorbike to the moon, so let's deploy those fairings. So perhaps my favorite part about this game is the fact that, technically speaking, we're moving at 1700 meters per second. And if it was light out, you can see there the planets moving below us. And eventually we'll hit the ground, but relative velocity is amazing because you're barely moving. I love the physics, I, I can't get over it. 
All right, Greg Bulls, time for you to get on the motorbike here. Nope, get down, get down, over. Okay, get on the board the motorbike, perfect. Now we've got um, an intercept here with the moon, so we'll enter the moon's gravity here, and then we'll actually be adjusted slightly by it and dip out of it here. But when we get into the moon's gravity, we're gonna slow down and let the moon's gravity actually pull us in. So, basically what you have to do is wait for another 28 minutes and 20 seconds. So I'm just gonna let the video run for another 28 minutes. Nah, I'm just kidding, you can you can time warp. We have to change our entire speed by that much within, which will take 39 seconds, and we have to do that exactly at the point at which we hit the maneuver. Now, obviously you can't do that, so what you do is you start your burn halfway before your maneuver is done. So we've got about 40 seconds, which means, oh, I already should have started it, but I should have started it when it said node in T minus 20. But it doesn't really matter, we'll still be able to hit the moon with this. Once again, Greg Bulls still having a great time. I think he's just excited to get that motorbike going. All right, let's just get rid of that. We'll just watch here. And there we go. So that's why it's nice to have that kill throttle button. As soon as uh, we got into the moon encounter there, as soon as you see it, you just hit that kill throttle and then everything is fine and dandy. And now we can just float out to the moon. All right, here's where stuff gets weird. This orbit is gonna be, we're gonna pass the moon on the right side, but it's gonna suck us in from the left. It's a very, it's a very weird sensation because everything's moving. Now, the planets in these games and the moons and stuff, they don't actually pull each other with gravity. They moved on fixed orbits from each other. Um, so each moon moves on a fixed orbit from the planet and then the planets move on fixed orbits from the sun. But everything you make will move on actual orbits. So they recently added communication satellites. Um, I believe, oh, I don't have any communication satellites, but you have to have communication satellites up if you want to remote control stuff. All right, so all we gotta do is find the retrograde here and just uh, burn it until we're not moving anymore. All right, let's do this. Perfect, you see there the camera kind of switches when you're uh, falling. So now you can see we're falling straight towards the moon. Looks like we're gonna land in that crater, although it's the moon's probably gonna rotate a fair amount before we get down there. Oh, no, we're gonna go below. Now there's no atmosphere on the moon, so you don't have to worry about burning up or anything. You can fall at really weird angles. But uh, there is gravity, so you do have to worry about smashing into the ground going way too fast. But we'll just uh, set this to surface. It seems a lot closer than it is, but it's apparently 10 kilometers away. All right, let's burn it. We need to slow down. Oh man, we're not gonna slow down in time, are we? Oh, that, that explosion was not did not bode well. Oh God, oh God, way too late, way too late. Oh God, oh, he's alive. And he's still having a great time. You just got stranded on the moon. And you're okay with all this. Do you have a limited, oh, you got a limited auction. All right, you'll be fine. All right, coming in hot now, we've got our second curb in here, Adrian, coming to rescue Greg. Uh, I think we're pretty, we're pretty close there. We should be pretty close, close enough to uh, just do a nice little quick motorbike jaunt over. Oh, there's the target, perfect, okay. All right, 40,000. Yeah, see, look, did you see that? Did you see that? He's getting concerned. He knew what happened to the last guy who tried this. A little bit more, down to 20,000. All right, now let's hit the full uh, full burner here. Come on, come on. All right, 78, so let's just, let's just kind of aim that way. Oh, a little too much rotation. Okay, perfect, let's aim that way, and let's just see if we can kind of glide our way over there to the, be a little closer. So this is actually the reaction wheel. This is what allows it to kind of spin so fast, plus the fact that it's shooting this model propellant out these little nozzles, uh, giving it some extra spinning capabilities. See, this is to sea level, which I guess the moon has no sea, but there is, I guess, a, a sea level, like a ground level. But we're only actually 2.2 kilometers off the surface. Don't worry, Greg, we have come to save you. Perfect. All right, let's just get it to flip, flip. Roll. Most elegant landing ever. Awesome. All right, let's eject this last stage. Eject. And now, I believe, so WASD, there is a reaction wheel on this, which keeps it uh, from flipping there. So you can, it'll stay up. But if you turn that off, of course, it will start to fall. Um, but I, I don't remember where I mapped the driving to. Oh, I mapped it to the numpad, excellent. So the problem is when you have a WASD sort of reaction wheel there to keep you stable, you can't have your drive mounted to that because then every time you wanted to drive forward, you would end up tipping forward like that. 
So instead, I mapped it to the numpad. All right, let's get some let's get some light onto this uh, situation here. So let's just let's just cut the throttle, hold the brakes, brake, perfect. Very hard to slow down on the moon. All right, now let's just speed up here. Let's get the sun back. All right, so I think that's the crater up there. We're just, you know, we're just gonna leave Greg Bulls back there because at this point, this is only a one-seater anyways, so we're only gonna have one chance to make it back to Earth, and it's gonna be launching these rockets as we pick up speed right when we get to the top of this crater. All right, let's let's go, buddy. I'm just kind of drive in silence across the moon and, and ponder. Oh my god, I didn't expect... Okay, hold on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh that was not good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I lost the back wheels. Okay, okay, you know what? Let's do this! Oh yeah, oh yeah, are we gonna make it? We gonna make, we gonna make? Yeah, we just, we puddle jumped. If you did like this video and you wanna see more Kerbal Space Program, I love Kerbal Space Program. And if you wanna see anything in particular, cool planes, or if you wanna to go to certain planets, if you guys do wanna see more Kerbal, uh, there is an entire galaxy to explore. You can see as you zoom out, or not galaxy, I guess, but there is a solar system. And as you zoom out, there's asteroids and all sorts of stuff. And there's lots of planets that are modeled very similar to uh, to current planets. So if you guys want me to go to a particular planet or you want to see something in particular, make sure you put that in the comments down below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.